um, National Oversight and Whistleblowers telah mengambil inisiatif untuk menganjurkan satu rombongan ke Hong Kong bertujuan mengumpul maklumat dan menyampaikan perkembangan terkini kepada pihak-pihak berkuasa di Hong Kong mengenai siasatan kes rasuah 40 juta yang dikaitkan dengan Datuk Seri Musa Aman, Datuk Seri Nazri Aziz dan Michael Chia. Um, ini bertepatan dengan kenyataan Datuk Seri Nazri Aziz di Dewan Rakyat baru-baru ini yang menggunakan nama dan reputasi Suruhanjaya Bebas Mencegah Rasuah Hong Kong iaitu ICAC untuk menggugurkan dakwaan rasuah terhadap Datuk Seri Musa Aman dan Michael Chia. Um, I think it goes back to Datuk Seri Nazri Aziz statement in Parliament which passed the ball back to ICAC. It was on the basis that ICAC had cleared um, Datuk Seri Musa Aman and Michael Chia um, that prompted the Malaysian authorities to drop all charges against both of them. Um, in spite of the statement, until today we have not got certainties whether um, ICAC did stop the investigation or even if it did stop the investigation, under what circumstances that led to the decision. That's why um, we are um, arranging a fact-finding mission to Hong Kong precisely to engage ICAC and all relevant parties in Hong Kong and um, more importantly to update them with the latest developments uh, in this case so that if possible we can prompt fresh new investigation in Hong Kong. Sehingga kini tidak ada satu pengesahan pun dari ICAC yang mengiyakan kenyataan Datuk Seri Nazri Aziz itu di tengah-tengah tuduhan bahawa ICAC terpaksa menghentikan siasatan kerana tidak mendapat kerjasama dari pihak berkuasa Malaysia yang sengaja melengah-lengahkan kes tersebut. Perkara ini diperkuatkan lagi dengan perkembangan terkini dari siasatan terhadap tuduhan rasuah yang melibatkan hartawan Ananda Krishnan di India apabila pihak berkuasa India baru-baru ini turut menyuarakan bantahan terhadap pihak berkuasa Malaysia yang dilaporkan sengaja tidak memberi kerjasama untuk melengah-lengahkan kes tersebut. Jelas bahawa ada perkaitan yang membimbangkan di antara kedua-dua kes ini apabila pihak berkuasa Malaysia dituduh tidak memberi kerjasama kepada pihak berkuasa lain yang menyiasat kes rasuah individu tertentu yang rapat dengan UMNO dan Barisan Nasional. There seems to be a clear pattern that if and when there is an investigation by foreign authorities that touch on important or well-connected personalities with UMNO and Barisan Nasional, there seems to be um, uh, this, uh, um, uh, apa ni, um, there seems to be reluctance on the part of Malaysian authority to cooperate. We have heard rumours about how um, the non-cooperation of Malaysian authority had led to ICAC dropping the case altogether in Hong Kong. But I think what is more importantly in India, there is documented proof and complaint made by uh, the Indian authorities to the judge um, who presided over the case of Ananda Krishnan um, in terms of the, the complete lack of um, cooperation by the Malaysian authority uh, in the investigation. Oleh itu adalah menjadi keutamaan untuk mengesahkan kebenaran kenyataan Datuk Seri Nazri Aziz dengan merujuk kembali perkara ini kepada ICAC dan juga pihak berkuasa Hong Kong. Sekiranya ICAC terpaksa menghentikan siasatan kerana pihak berkuasa Malaysia tidak memberikan kerjasama yang sewajarnya, ini adalah satu lagi skandal yang perlu disiasat dengan lebih lanjut oleh SPRM dan juga pihak berkuasa di negara ini. Pendedahan terbaru bahawa keluarga Datuk Seri Nazri Aziz ada mendapat habuan dalam bentuk sebuah kereta mewah yang dianggarkan berharga 1 juta dari Michael Chia menguatkan lagi persepsi bahawa tindakan Datuk Seri Nazri Aziz membersihkan nama Datuk Seri Musa Aman dan Michael Chia 
adalah berunsurkan rasuah yang perlu disiasat segera. Of course, you know the latest revelation that there is, you know, uh, Datuk Seri Nazri can be considered as being complicit uh, through his son um, because his son benefited from the one million uh, hammer uh, and Datuk Nazri being the only person who went on record to clear uh, Datuk Seri Musa Aman and Michael Chia, of course that adds uh, a new dimension to the whole investigation. And it is this new dimension that we hope to bring to authorities and uh, uh, legislative council in Hong Kong for them to consider. Because when you put all these factors together, it suddenly corners ICAC as if ICAC too was complicit in the whole scheme to cover up um, the investigation. Saya telah menghubungi ICAC dan sementara uh, ICAC menjelaskan ia perlu menjaga kerahsiaan siasatan, ICAC juga memaklumkan kepada NOW bahawa wujud mekanisme semakan semula siasatan melalui sebuah badan yang dipanggil Operations Review Committee ataupun jawatan kuasa ICAC. I mean, ICA, we have um, written officially to ICAC. ICAC has uh, responded officially on 6 of uh, 9, sorry, on 9th of November uh, 2012. Um, basically maintaining the same stand as before that given uh, the nature of their investigation and they have to protect confidentiality of all and any of investigations they will not be in a position to divulge any further information on the case however uh, there is a however part to it however um, every decision made by ICAC to uh, stop uh, any investigation would have to be presented and reviewed by the Operations Review Committee which is an independent committee made of good standing members of the society and therefore that is the mechanism that we can pursue in the same way that, 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 that there is a mechanism in Malaysia where um, for high profile cases ataupun case of public interest um, the review committee can direct uh, the commission to reinvestigate or, or divulge certain information. In this case, from from the viewpoint that it has um, considerable impact on ICAC's good standing, it is of course in the best interest of uh, Operations Review Committee to relook at it. And if they think that there is uh, enough evidence that warrant for uh, the information that we seek to be divulged or for a reinvestigation of the case. And I think um, our friends from Legislative Council and juga NGOs will do the, 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 the talking and the campaigning on our behalf in Hong Kong.